As the day begins, the Red Arrows Hawk jets lie waiting, parked up at the end of the runway at RAF Akrotiri. Once the sun is up, the engineers will be getting them ready and they won't be still for long. There are 50 maintenance mechanics, avionics technicians and mechanical engineers on exercise with the Red Arrows and it's their task to keep the jets in service round the clock. The challenge for the guys uh, on the team is really down to the tempo and the cadence of the activity. So, you know, we have a very compressed uh, time frame between the sorties. Uh, it's sufficient time for us to be able to do all the work that we need, but there's very little slack within that. Uh, so it's making sure that all the activity is coordinated, uh, is punctual, is on time, is safe. Before and after every flight, the jets are inspected and everything is logged. The pilots note down any issues and the maintenance checks are carried out. There's an engineer assigned to every jet. Collectively, they're called the circus. They're all from different trades and it's their job to follow the jets everywhere they go. This side was checking, giving everything a wipe down and not looking for any marks, cracks and things, loose fasteners along here. The circus fly in the back seat of the Hawk to every display location, so they're on hand whenever they're needed. Corporal Nicky Cunningham is on his second year with the Reds, working as Circus 4 alongside pilot Flight Lieutenant Ollie Parr. Oh, it's unbelievable. It, it, words, words can't describe it. Like, it's like a dream come true for well, everyone, really. It's a, one of the best jobs you can do in the rough. It's quite, you have to be quite dynamic and quite quick to deal with the situations that arrive. Once you land, I mean, it could be different kind of issues, you know, when radios might be broken or might have a hydro leak, so we maybe just help each other out just to get through it so the jets can get up in there and make the display. Some are much newer to the team. SAC Tom Lowe is the youngest at 21 years old. He joined the Red Arrows just 18 months into his RAF career. Oh yeah, it's amazing, yeah, pretty good, man. Um, it's probably be a highlight of my career as well, so I've just got to make the most of it this year. The Hawk T1 jet has been used by the Reds since 1979 and it's been specially adapted for the role. There's a smoke generation system on board to give the red, white and blue we see in the skies and a special team to make sure there's smoke on standby for every flight. Arriving in their silver chemical suits, the dye team provide the colour for every display, filling up the tanks one by one. Bumping red! Open blue. With their heads close by, they're listening to make sure each one is full. We top up the rig with concentrated dye and then fill the rig up with diesel. That mixes inside and then when we actually deliver it to the aircraft, it's that dye-diesel mix for the both red and blue, whereas the white is just a pure diesel, that's it. The jets will have seven minutes of smoke, five minutes of white and one minute each of blue and red. A quick refuel, some final checks, and then it's time for takeoff. The circus guide each jet out in order, then it's over to the pilots to do the rest. But there's only a short time until they're back and their work begins again. It's a constant task keeping the jets in flight, but it's thanks to this team that the Red Arrows are able to fly far and wide and take their displays all around the world. Carla Prater, Forces News at RAF Akrotiri.